Hey everybody, Sean Holsinger here from HolsingerSlyShop.com. Thanks again for watching, like always guys, I really appreciate you tuning in every week when I come out with a video. And please keep subscribing to my channel if you haven't already. Uh, my viewership's really growing, we're doing real good. And uh, I really, really enjoy bringing these and I hope you enjoy watching them as much as I do making them. So if you do, please take the time to comment on the video, I'd really appreciate it. What we're tying today is we're tying a turkey quilled nymph. Uh, I'm going to be using the turkey quills, the same one we used to do the uh, Compton Cinnamon Toast Fly. And uh, just using a different color this time, this time we're going to tie them in olive. These turkey bite quills are really, really nice because what it is, is on the one end you have the, the quill and on the other end you have bites. So I've been using these things up. You guys know me, I tie a ton of stone flies. Uh, these for well the pack right now we're selling for 219 and um, for 219 you get a whole bunch of flies on this side that you can tie the quills with and then a ton of biots on the other side so you know you really you get a lot bang for your buck and you actually get two of them in the pack I really suggest getting a couple of these in a couple of different colors because I use them a lot they tie really nice with uh, a couple secrets I'll share with you on how to tie with them and other than that, sit back and watch this video. Uh, it's a little olive pattern with a bright little head, just a great attractor fly that's going to catch you some fish. All right, this is the turkey quill nymph. Uh, you can see how nice looking this is. Bright little flashy fly, you know, the style that I like to tie and I like to fish a lot. Um, just a couple simple pieces of material. And uh, it's not really hard to tie. It's not as hard as it may look. And uh, let's get started on it. What we're going to start out with is a fire hole 633 hook. Okay, barbless hook. We're Like I said, we're tying competition style, which is barbless. And for wire, we're going to put some wire on this. Lead wire .015. And for the bead, I'm using a Cyclops bead. I don't have the colored beads in um, tungsten at the shop. So we're using these Cyclops beads. This one's fluorescent chartreuse. And I'm just going to take this wire... And I'm going to wrap it on here and try to get about 10 wraps or so. And what the wire is going to do is add the weight, make up for some weight that we lost by not having tungsten. And um, also, I'm just going to hold this bead in place while we tie it. Okay, so we just get that tied in there like that. And then I'm going to use some olive thread. And we're going to wrap... The over the lead and we're going to smooth the transition out from the lead to the hook so just get that lead covered up and then build up your thread and make a nice smooth transition up onto that lead and then we'll cut our tag off here and then I'm going to use uh, some cocktail on for tailing fibers uh, medium pardo I use a ton of this this is you know my favorite tailing material for my nymphs and because of the modeled look I really like that modeled look I suggest you you know pick up a tailing pack uh, it doesn't really care medium pardo dark pardo you know it they're all really nice looking it, I wouldn't be get what you can get your hands on we'll put it that way and now for the tail we're gonna make the tail about the length of the fly and we're just gonna wrap it down you know a loose wrap or two and then we're going to tighten it down as we get back. Okay. There's our tail. We'll cut our tag off here. Now I'm going to add a piece of lead wire. I'm using small chartreuse for this, ultra wire. And in the flash, to keep up with the flash on this, we're going to use the chartreuse over the gold or the silver. I, do, I have been tying it with silver too and I really like the looks of that. But um, we're going to use chartreuse on this. Now the next part is the quills. The turkey quills that I was talking about. Okay, the turkey quills you can see the big long part. That's the part we're going to use here. The biots are on the top. Okay, this is what I'm using for my tails on my stoneflies and stuff. We're going to use this part down here. I'm tying this in olive. Uh, we have a ton of, right now actually we had a good blue winged olive hatch come off one of the streams here by the shop the other day I was just hammering them on dry flies which 
was odd because I hardly ever have the dry flies with me anymore. But anyway, now these turkey quills, you're going to have a little bit of trouble. Well, there, I can, you can see it real good there. You see how there's a U shape to that turkey quill, okay? You want to tie that. I'm going to tie it on the back side of the hook, my, you know, facing me. And that U is going to be facing me. So the openness of the U will be towards my body. And what I'm going to do is I'm not going to tie it in here at the end because it's real brittle back in there. I'm going to tie it up just a hair. And you have to kind of loosely wrap it on to begin with so you keep that U shape facing the way you want it to go. Oh, this is UTC 140 denier that I'm using, by the way. And then uh, once we get that tied on there with that U shape facing me, I'm going to take my hackle pliers and I'm going to start wrapping it on. And when you do that, the back side of the quill has a um, little fuzzy piece, a little fuzzy ring. And by putting that U-shape towards you and wrapping it correctly, it'll put that little fuzzy ring on the back side of the, um, of the shaft of the hook there. And you won't wrap over it and you'll have that little fuzzy pattern, that fuzzy ring. I'm not sure what it's called, so fuzzy ring's what you're getting. And uh, it'll make a nice quilled, segmented quilled body look. So wrap it up there close as you can get to the head and then we're going to tie it off, wrap it down, tie it off. Now, I'm going to take my wire and I'm just going to wrap in between them segments and make a segmented body with my wire on top of that little fuzzy rib, whatever it's called. Okay, make a couple segments in there. Get this up here, tie it off. I only need to make two or three wraps to secure it. And then tie it down. Now, here in this stage, you could use ice dubbing, but what I've been using is a peacock curl. And I've actually been using a peacock curl off the around the eye. It's a nice length, but you don't need a peacock eye to do it. Any peacock curl will work. But like I said, ice dubbing will also work well. And we're just going to tie this in right here. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to tie it back here a little bit. I'm going to make a, not a huge collar, but a decent sized collar. This is a size 16, by the way. I'm not sure if I added that at the beginning. And, and I'm just going to start wrapping this peacock curl forward. And I'm going to wrap it about halfway up. Okay. When I get it about halfway up, I'm going to make two wraps to hold it in place. Now, what I'm... Okay, three. What I'm going to do next is I'm going to add the legs to this fly, which is Rainbow, Rainbow Crystal Flash, which is a nice green color. And I'm just going to stick them on my side here first. And only about two or three wraps is all I want to do on this side. And then I'm going to bring this around behind that hurl. Wrap it down. And get it on the side right where I want it. And get it wrapped wrapped in there good. Okay. And what that's going to do is that's, you can see there, it puts it out the side over top of that peacock hurl. And gives the legs, makes the legs stand out a little bit. And then I'm just going to trim them down for right now. Just shy of the back of the body is where I'm trimming it. Like you see how I cut that off and I actually a little long there. I cut it off just shy of the back of the body. So now that I, I'm going to come back with my peacock curl and I'm going to get back and I'm going to fill the rest of this in with the peacock curl. Whoops. So I'm going to cover the rest of that collar up and just wrap it up to the bead. By doing it this way and not putting the the legs in the collar, you know, like finishing it the whole way up and then putting the legs after you wrap the whole hurl, that allows me to make a smaller collar on this so the thread is less visible. And then I'm just going to, you know, two or three wraps get it tied off and make a small whip finish about three or four wraps. I don't have to make a big one because I'm going to put a little bit of head cement on this to finish this up. Last thing I'm going to put on is some UV fly finish clear or thick I mean. And I'm just going to build up a little bit too big of one there. 
So take a little bit off my brush here and come back and I'm just going to make sure I get that blended just onto the body, just onto the head. Smooth it out and just make a little bit of a hump there. You see how that does. It covers up, makes a little shell back over top of that peacock and protects your thread so your wraps won't come undone. We'll hit it with the light. You can see the UV glare there on this bead. And that is all that's to this turkey quill um, nymph. Very simple fly to tie, didn't take me long at all, and uh, very attractive little pattern, you know, bright colors, bright flashy colors, what I like. So give this a try, all the materials, these fire hole hooks you can get at the shop at wholesingersflyshop.com, and uh, change up the bead colors, use a different bead, use a different color um, turkey qu buy it quills too. Uh, we have a large selection of them, and I uh, just wanted to show them off, give you other options to use other than the Cinnamon Toast Caddis. We carry them in about six or seven different colors, I'm not sure. But uh, give them a try. You can see how nice of a fly that looks, how nice the profile is, nice and small. Uh, I'm sure you'll like it, and it'll fish real well for you. Thanks again for watching, everybody. I'm Sean Holsinger.